Hi there, Jen Roke here from StampCampWithJen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and welcome to a very special edition of my weekly Facebook Live. We're gonna have some new products on here today. I'm gonna show you guys some of the new um, products that are coming out in the 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. They're very pretty, very vibrant, some of them, so I hope you're as excited as I am to show them to you. I hope you're excited to see them. So as you join, please say hello. Let me know how you're doing. I hope you had a great Easter slash Passover celebration this weekend. Um, are you doing anything special this week? Anything going on? Are you just excited about the new catalog coming? You can kind of see over my shoulder here these little pink envelopes. The catalogs are in those envelopes for some people that are coming to see me this week. So anybody that I had to ship them to, I mailed them out this morning. So um, you all got an email with the tracking information. Hi Sue, thanks for joining me. Um, and then anybody else that I'm gonna see this week, their catalogs are sitting right there. So those pretty pink envelopes, I think all my customers know that means something fun is coming. So lots of fun things going on. Going to stamp camp. That's right. You'll get yours at stamp camp this week, Sue. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to have a lot of good um, products or products, a lot of good projects that we're going to make this week at stamp camp as well. Some with some new project or products, ugh, tongue twister, products <laughs> and the projects are going to be lots of fun so I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around we'll get through a couple announcements and then I'll start doing the unveiling of the new pretty things it's going to be so much fun so I hope you're excited all right oops turn this around here we go try not to make you guys too dizzy as I do that all right, get my lights going. Here we go. Hopefully they don't die on me. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. All right, so a couple of reminders. Uh, well, I don't worry about that. April 15th is when I announced my paper share and in color club. Now, to my newsletter subscribers, I apologize. I didn't double check my links for my old In Color Club examples that I posted in there. So if you clicked on it, it took you to like a blogger post or something. I apologize, they will be fixed. So when you open up the newsletter this Friday and click on the different months to see the cards from last year, you will be able to see the original blog post. I apologize for that. <laughs> I don't know where my head was, but all right, so you'll be able to see my In Color Club details and my paper share details. You can find them at stampcampwithjen.com, but also in my Friday newsletter, I have the information for them as well. Uh, payment and registration for those is due May 1st. So let's actually write that on here. 1 May 2022. Sign up. Bye. Okay, so make sure you sign up by May 1st if you're interested in either one of those or both. Um, the paper shares, I cut them up by six by six um, and you get like a sample of all the new papers in the annual catalog. It's great if you just like a little bit of everything. Hi Jessica, hi Kay, thanks for joining us. Um, so May 1st is the deadline to sign up for those. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Um, the In Color Club is really fun because you can get, uh, you get all five in colors over a five month span. So each month you get one of the five in colors and then by the end of the five months you'll have all five in colors. Um, you have everything that you need for each color and then each month I send you a free gift along with the in color of the month, along with a um, inspiration card that I make in your in color and I send you a PDF tutorial after your kit ships or you pick it up. Um, so it's usually around mid month. So if you pay for the May kit, your May kit would ship around May 15th and that's around the time that you'll get the PDF tutorial in your email as well. So it's a lot of fun. Um, 
I, it really is a great deal. It's really like getting Christmas in the mail for five months. You know, you get a new packet of new in color things to play with. It's really fun. So um, I hope you'll sign up for either one of those. Like I said, the in color club or the paper share. And like I said, if you have any questions, please reach out. Okay. All right. Last chance products. There's only two weeks left for last chance products. Okay. So these are retiring favorites from the current annual catalog. And once they're gone, they're gone for good. Okay. Hi, Sylvia. Thanks for joining me. So if there's anything you want, be sure to grab these before they're gone. Okay. And then my host code if you need it if you need to place an order through me for those last chance products and all orders get a surprise gift in the mail okay hi roberta thanks for joining us so here's my host code and you can always find this at stampcampwithjen.com as well okay all right so let's get to the fun stuff let's see new products so first i'm going to show you guys the new in colors so I'm gonna lay them all out here and I actually grabbed a couple of papers to try to compare current colors so you can kind of see so this is Orchid Oasis Starry Sky Tahitian Tide it's very pretty very bri bright and vibrant and this is Sweet Sorbet and this one is Parakeet Party. Now let me tell you, this is like a lime green color. It is so, so bright. <laughs> so let's do a color comparison. So Parakeet Party. This is Parakeet Party. This is the new in color. I grabbed Pear Pizzazz. Okay, you can see it's a little darker, not as bright. Now one of my favorites, Granny Apple Green, is right there. So that's even darker than this. This really is like a bright lime green color. Starry sky looks like purple. We'll get there, Roberta. I'm gonna go through each one. I'm trying to compare them so you guys can kind of get a, an idea of how they compare. So like I said, this is Pear Pizzazz. This is Granny Apple Green, which is usually very bright. And this is Parakeet Party. Yeah, it's almost neon green. That's right, Sue. That's exactly how I would describe it. I'm telling you, you get this with that magenta madness. Ooh, we got some good neon colors. <laughs> All right, so that's Parakeet Party. Lime green is basically what it looks like, neon green. Okay, now this one surprised me when I grabbed a sheet for comparison. This is Sweet Sorbet. It's like a red color. And then I grabbed Poppy Parade to compare it to. And they are almost identical to me. So this is Poppy Parade and this is Sweet Sorbet. So Sweet Sorbet is a little bit lighter and almost a little, like it's got a little bit of pink in it compared to Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade is more of a red. So that's kind of how they compare, but very similar, very close. Okay. And then we will go to, I couldn't believe they came out with three different blues, but I will say the two darker blues are a little different. And I'll show you how in just a second. Um, okay, so this is Tahitian Tide, another bright one. Very bright, okay. So I couldn't really come up with a good comparison because there really is nothing like it. If you were to get um, Pacific Point, which is a bright blue, let me grab that one. So that is another bright blue, but it's really dark compared to Tahitian Tide. So this is very, very bright, okay? Like a light blue, but it is bright like Pacific Point is. So there's really not a good color to compare it to. We don't really have anything close to it. Okay, Starry Sky. This one is really pretty. I think this is, it reminds me of Night of Navy. So I did grab Night of Navy. But you'll see it's nothing like Knight of Navy. Because this is Knight of Navy. And this is Starry Sky. So Knight of Navy is more navy. 
<laughs> starry sky is really like a a bright blue if you can kind of see it really is like a vibrant blue color comparatively so there it's not the same nowhere close to night and navy and then that was the only one I could think that might come close to comparing it but as you can tell they're different they each kind of have a bit of neon to them that's a good point Sue I think you're right they all are very bright colors very rich and vibrant and then Orchid Oasis this one is kind of puzzling to me I really like it but when you look at it, it's like, is it blue? Is it purple? It kind of looks. So I grabbed Misty Moonlight to try to see if I could compare. But again, it doesn't really compare. But it's like a bluish purple, like Orchid, I guess. <laughs> it's like a bluish purple shade. So there's Misty Moonlight. But like I said, it doesn't really, it's not even really close. So Periwinkle Blue, that could be, that could be a good one, Sue. I think you're right. So those are the in colors. Let me pull out my little swatches here so you can kind of see them all together. But yeah, these, oh, so bright. I love it though. I like really bright in your face colors, bright, bold colors. So I was really excited about the first three these three especially I was really excited about and then they came out with these and I was like eh. but I do really like them and I think there are going to be a lot of really cool projects to do with them so you can kind of get a good idea let me see all those colors so bright okay what about Highlander what about Highlander? <laughs> oh, Highland Heather. I was like, are we talking about TV shows now, Roberta? Are you watching Highlander? <laughs> oh, that's Outlander. Outlander. <laughs> Never mind. Outlander. Highland Heather. Um, Highland Heather. I actually did get that color out. To compare to Orchid Oasis, I think is what you're talking about. That doesn't really compare either because that's Highland Heather and that's Orchid Oasis. That's more blue. So that's what I'm saying. It could be purple. It could be blue. It's kind of hard to tell. All right. Now some other cool in color goodies. So these are, this is the in color Baker's Twine pack. All of the pretty colors and Baker's Twine. I love Baker's Twine. I feel like you could use it for anything. And it's so small and a little bit easier to work with sometimes than ribbon. So, and this comes with 10 yards. I think on total. Yeah, there's five of them with 10 yards. So, and then... Some of the stamp sets here they have this is my favorite one of my favorite suites in the catalog they have a suite that is just for men it's called he's all that and it's got these awesome sayings I think this one's hilarious holy smokes you're amazing <laughs> and the hello handsome with the mustache I had to get that because my husband's got a mustache and he's very handsome so <laughs> I had to get that one. And then together for the long haul, happy birthday, you're a classic, to the man who does everything. And then you've got the little compass up here. It says, every day with you is another adventure. Wishing you a happy Father's Day. Love this guy. There's just so many cool things that you can do with this set. I think it's going to be a smash. And then it comes with this paper. I love this paper. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I saw this in the catalog and I was like, I have to have this whole suite. This paper is so cool to me. I love it. So you've got all your little barbecue designs right here. And then just a plain, simple, masculine pattern. And then you've got glasses and ties for the more business type man another plain pattern 
And then this goes with the cars. If you have a guy that likes cars or motorcycles, the mechanic or the handyman in your life, and then a more subdued pattern. I like that they do that where it's busy on one side and kind of subtle on the other side. I think that's awesome. So like an argyle print. Whoa. <laughs> And then something more in your face and then these oh let's get this other paper here this other print so this is more for your outdoorsy man that likes to go camping and then that's the back side of it and then these are die cuts that come with it which I think is so cool because I know not everybody likes to stamp and sometimes you just want something that's real quick and easy and ready to go and it's just got so many cool things this holy smokes you're the best it's got antlers best dad award you did it my man you're stronger than you know nice work all kinds of cool things and these just pop right out and you can you're flipping awesome I just think these are so cool and then you could do like for people that like your scrapbook or journal it's got a couple little pieces in here that you could write on and put in a scrapbook I just thought that was so cool I love this set I can't tell you how excited I was when I saw it I was so 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 excited I thought it came with two die cut sheets it's 12 pieces okay let me see if I'm missing something one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh. I think they shorted me on my paper. <laughs> That's no good. Oh, these are really thin. Okay, guys, so be something to think about. These die cut sheets, they're stuck together. I thought I had a missing sheet. So be careful if you think that you're missing a sheet like I just did. They're probably just stuck together. And these pieces really want to come out. <laughs> so don't panic if you did just like I did. They're really thin and they're just stuck together probably if you think you're missing a piece. Okay. All right. Let's get this out of the way here. And then that set does come with dies. Let me see if I can find them in here. Uh, all that dies. So these are the dies go with the stamp set. So these are so cool. So it's got like a scalloped circle and an oval, some little banners. You can make your own argyle die cuts. This goes with that love this guy piece right there. And then you have another little frame, a couple frames, like a rectangle. I think this probably goes with a, a to the man who does everything. Might be able to use it with that one too. But a couple good frames, really cool. I like anytime there's frames or shapes, I always like that. That's always a plus for me. All right, and then the other thing that comes in that suite, let me see if I can grab them, are some uh, metallic dots. Now we do have some metallic dots currently, but they're three different colors. The ones that come in this are one color. Um, ah, here they are. So the rustic metallic dots are what come in that suite as well. So you get the stamps, the dies, the dots, and then all that paper. And that's the He's All That suite. And that is on page... I can't show you in the catalog, but I can tell you what page it's on. It's on page 79 once you get your catalog, okay? So write that down, page 79, okay? Now, let's do some more dies while I have these over here. These are called the Fabulous Frames dies. Ooh, so pretty. So this makes like a big frame that you can put in the middle of your card. And then you've got some smaller frames. You could, you know, put little pictures inside it and make it a really nice centerpiece. You can make little corner tags for pictures. Really cool, really fun. 
and this the dies are on page let me get my catalog out so you can write it down if you want to write it down those stylish frames are on page let's see I just had it here those, oh my light went out again oh no <laughs> oh fabulous frames I'm sorry fabulous frames is on page 171 is that really dead already oh man oh well guess I need to charge it <laughs> All right, stylish shapes dies. So these dies that I'm showing you do not coordinate with any specific set. They were just dies that I saw and I thought I have to have them. <laughs> and we were allowed to order them. <gasps> Aren't you so excited about these? So these are so cool. So these are stitched. So stitched squares, stitched circles, and stitched banners. So I think these are replacing, we just had like squares, dies, um, that retired so I think this was Stampin' Up's way of kind of introducing those shapes back in because we don't really have any square dies right now and these are all stitched which I love anything stitched they're on your wish list Roberta I don't blame you I couldn't wait to order these I had to get them in my pre-order first thing I was so excited when I saw them there are other dies that we weren't able to order just yet but I could definitely have a list going <laughs> All right. Ooh, this is a cool one. This is on. Oh, and if you're trying to write those down, those are on page. Let's see if I can find the page number for those. Do, 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 do. Where'd they go? Oh. Page 175, page 175 is where you can find these stylish shapes dies. Okay. And then the next one, these are really cool. I can't wait to use these too. This is the, it's called Dots and Spots die. Isn't that so cool? It's going to make such a fun background. I can't wait for the, to use this. You could layer this over something else so you can just see the other color peeking below it. I think it's going to be so much fun. So this one, Dots and Spots, is on page 170 of your catalog. 170. Okay. And then I want to show you some of our new embellishments. Aren't these so cool? So this is the new, they came out with opal rounds in the 2021 to 2023 in colors. Aren't those so pretty? Oh, I just love them so much. And they have that opal like glistening on the inside there. And those, let me see if I can find the page number for those real quick. Ah, those are on page 142 of your catalog. 142. And then these in color matte dots. Oh, these are for the current, the newest in colors that are coming out, okay? And these are on page 141. Page 141. Okay, and then these glossy dots, which I was super excited about. These come in Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Pool Party. And they are just so pretty. And these are on page 143 of your catalog. So, so, so pretty. Okay, now... Some paper so you probably noticed that all of the six by six paper for like the subtles the brights all those they all are retiring because they're coming out with new patterns for those packs and 
I can show you what those patterns look like. So this is the six by six in series designer paper for the 2022 to 2024 in colors. So they come with like this striped pattern and then there's like a floral pattern on the back. And then there is like a plaid pattern and then a bunch of spots on the back of that one. Very pretty. And those are all the patterns and they come in all the different colors. So that's why they retired um, those paper packs because it's not that the colors are going away, it's just that they got new patterns for those papers, so. All right, so now, oh, this is so pretty, oh my gosh. So this is the 2022 to 2024 in color glimmer paper. You guys know, anybody that's been with me for a while knows I like anything sparkly, as you can tell, bright and sparkly. These are so pretty, oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna bust this pack open, I don't even care. Look how gorgeous this is with that sheen. And it's like an ombre effect too. It goes darker to lighter, dark to light. It's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this bright. That parakeet party really is like a neon green. It's crazy. It's almost blinding, <laughs> but I love it. It's so pretty. I wish Magenta Madness was sticking around so I could use it with this. It's so pretty. And then this is that Tahitian Tide. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I can't wait for the holiday catalog to come out. I'm sure I'm going to be using this on Christmas cards this year. Oh my gosh. You gotta have a little sparkle for special celebrations, right? Too many things you want, Sue. Oh, that's not a problem. You know that's not a problem. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't stop looking at these. These are so pretty. And you know, I always say, and my team, whenever we get together, we always say this, you can't tell how pretty the stuff in the catalog is until you get it in your hands. Like, especially the paper the designer series paper, the catalog just doesn't do it justice. You just can't see the true color and the beauty of it until you get it in person. And that is a perfect example because looking at the catalog, it was pretty, but this is stunning in person. You just, I can't even tell you. <laughs> All right, so let's do some more paper. Oh. I only got the paper for this, but I definitely have the bundle in my, on my wish list for my next order because this paper is so pretty. This is the Hues of Happiness, Hues of Happiness paper. <laughs> you tell her, Roberta. She's got to catch up to all that guitar stuff her husband buys. Uh, let's see, Hues of Happiness is on page. This is a whole suite, but like I said, I just ordered the paper for now, but I will be getting the rest of it because it is so pretty. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It is on page, for those friends that are writing it down, page 108 to 109 when you get your catalogs. Oh, and I forgot those glossy dots actually come with this paper when you get the collection so these coordinate with that paper very very pretty one amp and a guitar oh so you do have some catching up to do girl <laughs> all right let's open up this bad boy oh this is a little pretty i can't wait okay so here is let me just take this out there's one side. Ooh, and there's like stitching on the back. And then there's these gorgeous flowers. Oh, look at that. It's like a rainbow. So pretty. These are gorgeous as well. It is beautiful, Sue. Oh, I love this so much. 
the catalogs don't do it justice. You're right, Roberta. I'm telling you. I think we say that like every time a catalog comes out. <laughs> That's why I try to share this as much as possible. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I like that too. That's a good background pattern. So pretty. Ooh, so pretty. And I think it's, is it this sheet? I think these two sheets maybe. The dies that come with this bundle, you can die cut the flowers out of the paper. But like I said, of course I didn't order the bundle, but oh, that's so pretty. It's like blues and purples and a little bit of pink at the bottom. That's so pretty. And these are pinks and yellows on one side. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, oh, that's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous paper. I love it. I foresee that going out quick. So if that's something you want, that is on page 108 and 109 of your catalog. And that bundle, I've seen a lot of demonstrators make cards with that stamp set. I think I'm gonna get that bundle soon. I might get it, I might have to place another order soon. All right, now, this is a set that's also coming out. So if you're a demonstrator or you like to make things for craft shows, Stampin' Up! has an annual, or annual catalog. Roberta, you distracted me. I started talking about my paper share. <laughs> yes, the paper share is a good way to get all of those gorgeous papers in your hand. And you can see all of the fabulous patterns and colors and everything. That's, yeah, that's a good point. Um, but... Stampin' Up! has an angel policy, so if you make anything with Stampin' Up! products and you sell them, you're supposed to put the Stampin' Up! copyright somewhere on the back of your product or card. Um, and this is one of the stamp sets they came out with, with a, that it's updated with the angel policy stuff. So there is a stamp just with the Stampin' Up! copyright, or you could have these other fun little um, sayings that say, you know, handcrafted from the heart, made with love all that stuff. You need everything I've shown so far. <laughs> Sue, I really think we are the same person like you say because we like all of the same things. It's so funny. Okay, so this I think is the last little bit here. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. So this one is really fun too and I'm really excited to play with this one. This is called the Tea Boutique, and this is on page 12 and 13 of your catalog. Um, and this is really cool. And I think I have everything, let me double check. Yep, everything, I ordered it this whole suite. So it comes with this stamp set, which is really fun, it's got the tea, and I love the little font. Thank you for your friendship. It's actually really small. I've played with it a little bit, but you'll see it's tiny, 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 tiny font. Very small, like little, little pieces. Mm, excuse me. And then the teacup dies that go with it. I haven't even opened these yet, my goodness. These are the dies. So it actually makes the little die for this little piece so you can overlap those or you can cut out just the teacup. It's got the little tag, a cute little heart, lots of little hearts actually, a couple little tea bag tags. You can make a little lemon or lime or orange wedge there and then the die cuts for the greenery and the little flowers it looks like and the leaves. Oh, so cute. But I think that's why like these are so small is so you can stamp them in the little um, tea labels there, tea tags. It would be good for box cards. Yes, very much so. There's lots of little pieces in that. You're right, Sue. And then with that comes the paper. This is six by six paper which I always prefer 12 by 12, but I'm not gonna lie, when I'm doing my paper shares, it's a lot easier to package up six by six because it's already cut for me. <laughs> 
So look at this paper. And then it's got little spots on the back. And then the more little teapots with the leaves. And then a nice little subtle pattern on the back. And then these lemons. This reminds me, there was a set that was out a couple years ago that had lemons in it. And that's what it makes me think of. Nice purple pattern on the back. Oops. And then the leaves. That's like mm, Blushing Bride or Petal Pink. Maybe Petal Pink on that one. A bunch of little cups. And that gingham pattern is very pretty. Okay, little flowers. Very cute, very cute paper, I like it. It's not usually my uh, style or aesthetic, but I don't know, I was really drawn to it for some reason. I thought it would be really fun to play with. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Very pretty. Oh my gosh, more teacups. It kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I think that's what it makes me think of. Kind of psychedelic a little bit too, but the tea from Alice in Wonderland is what it makes me think of. Envelopes. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> more teacups. Lots of teacups. There we go. More flowers. That's it. And then the back, ooh, more plaid or gingham. Can't go wrong with spots and gingham, I'm telling you. All right, and then the last, very, very last thing are these tea boutique cards and envelopes. These are so cool. I love anything that coordinates, and these guys, what's cool is, because a lot of Stampin' Up's previous, um, envelopes and uh, card sets have been separate. What this comes all is one set. So you get the tea, or the tea, the card bases and the envelopes all together. You don't have to order them separately. And there are, I believe, 20 of each. Two, three, four. Yeah, because these are all the in colors. So there's four of each in color. Yep. Four of each in color. So you get 20 cards and 20 um, envelopes that coordinate with the card bases. Isn't that so cool? And it has all the little flowers. Very cutesy. Not your cup of tea, but um bum bum. <laughs> but yeah, and then they have the card bases here. And like I said, they're all in those beautiful new in colors. So very fun. Just makes it real easy for you. It all coordinates. I really like that. Could pretend it's coffee. Yeah. Coffee in a pretty teacup. All right, guys. Well, that is all of the fun goodies. Or are all of the fun goodies. My English isn't so good right now. <laughs> I hope you are so excited about all of the new products I showed you. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to everything that you're going to see in the catalog. These are just some of the few of the favorites that I saw that I was able to order through pre-order. But what we can order as demonstrators is just a teeny tiny little bit of what's in the catalog. There are many, many more cool things that you'll be able to see. Um, I would love to know what you liked. Sue, I know you liked everything, but <laughs> if you want to leave me a comment below and let me know which products you loved in this video, what you're looking forward to, I would love to know. I'm really curious to see out of the little bit that I have here what everybody's favorites are. So leave me a comment below and let me know if you're watching the replay from a YouTube channel or if you're on my blog, leave me a comment below either the video on my YouTube channel or um, the post on my blog. I'd love to hear what you think. So, all right guys, well, like I said, this all this stuff you'll be able to order on Tuesday, May 3rd. That's when the annual catalog goes live. Um, if you, 
are expecting a catalog from me, you should have an email with the tracking information. I mailed them out today. You should get them in the next week or so, okay? Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about anything or you need help placing an order, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. And I would love it if you'd choose me as your demonstrator when you sh shop at stampinup.com. My name is Jennifer Roke, um, and I would love your, to earn your business. Um, and until next time, I hope you be safe and happy stamping. Bye-bye, guys.